Okay, welcome. Uh, in this video I just want to go through a quick example of the LZW compression scheme using our uh, example string here, Missy is a Mississippi Hippie. And I've begun by initializing uh, my directory. I'm going to use five bits it looks like here. And I've initialized it with the first four entries. So our next eight entries here uh, just 8 to 15 um, will allow us a little space to carry out uh, the algorithm. And so I am going to carry out the algorithm. Maybe I'll encode as we go down here. Uh, so the first thing we're going to encode, we'll encode the M, noting that the M is already uh, in our directory. So we'll encode that maybe as an A, as 00011. We consume that, but then we add the next entry to our directory, MI. Okay, continuing. The I will now consume. The I we see here is 00010. And when we consume the I, we will add the string IS. IS. Okay, next up we have S. Uh, and we'll consume the S and we'll add, uh, it looks like SS here. We'll add S to our encoded word as well. Okay. Uh, that consumed the first S. We now have the second S. We'll add the, uh, the string SY. And again, we'll consume the second S, uh, one character, so we encode it as an S. We'll now uh, encode the Y as well. So we'll be adding Y space to our directory. The Y we encode here as 00110, single character. Okay, our first space, we've got space I here. So we'll consume the space. We'll add space I to our directory. And we need to encode the space here as 00111 space. Okay, as I mentioned, uh, we've got space I, so next up, up is I. We'll consume the I, uh, but we'll see here that the IS is a sequence we've seen before. So we're actually going to consume the IS here. We will now encode IS space as our next entry. And let's be careful here. It was 01001 for our IS. Okay. We can see here in our little shorthand that we actually consume two characters with that character. Okay, let's keep going then, being careful. So we consume the I and the S, uh, so we're at space A. We don't have space A yet, so it looks like we'll add that, space A. That consumes the space for us, uh, and we're going to have to encode that as a single character. Okay, the A. So our only A and our first A, so we consume it as a single character. It was all zeros. All right, so that will cause us to add a space into our directory now, consuming that A. Now we've got the space, space M. Again, quick scan, we don't have space M yet, so we'll add space M to our directory. And again, our space being consumed here. Now where are we? M. I. We do have an MI before, so we'll use that one, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Noting now that we're using MI, we'll add, so we'll consume MI, we'll add MIS to our directory. So again, this was MI. Okay, now where are we at? S, we have S in there. What about SS? Yes, we have SS in here. What about SSI? Do we have that? No but we can add it as our next one, SSI. So SS, let's go down here, was 10. So we consume two S's at once. IS, do we have that? Yes, IS is here. What about ISS? No, that one's not in here, so let's add it. So IS was 01001. And again, that consumes the I and the S together. SI, do we have that one? We had an SY here. 
I notice there was an SI in this string, but no, we can't do it. We can't backtrack here and try and do that. So actually, this is our first time encountering SI um, without it consuming a longer pattern before. So that means our S is going to be consumed all at once. It's one character, um, and we have to consume the I by itself. Okay, IP. All right, I think this is our first time doing an IP. So we'll add that into our directory. IP, we'll consume our I is, okay, that was our IP, but we only consumed the I. What about PP? Okay, this is again our first encounter of PP. So I'll add that to my directory. I'll be doing code my P, which is just four. And again, now my P, I, that is one I haven't encountered before, PI. So again, I'll encode my P as a single character. I space, a quick run through here. We had space I, but we have no I space, so I space. Add that one in there, consume the I. Our I was a two. All right, we're on our space. Space H, it looks like next. Uh, we haven't encountered H's yet, so we'll consume the space with space H, and space is 7. H, first H, looks like HI is going to be added in. Uh, we'll consume our H, that was a 1. And we added HI, so we're on to IP. Now IP was in there before, IPP was not, so let's add IPP in there. And we'll consume IP, which was 10110. And now we have P. Y. Okay, so PY hasn't been encountered before, so we'll add PY in here. We'll encode our P, which is just a 4. And then we have to finish off by just encoding our Y again. And this is our second Y, but our, uh, uh, we have to encode it as a single character, 00110Y. Okay, so finishing off the example here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. Looks like we got 23 um, times 5 bits each, or 115 bits. Uh, remember our original was uh, 28 characters long, um, and we had uh, maybe 8 bits on that, which looks like, was that about a 224 is my quick head math. I don't know if that's right. Double check that for me. Um, but in, the, in any case, it looks like, yes, we, we've got some savings on that here. Now remember, our, uh, our LZW technique works good when we have repeated sequences, so Miss, Missy and Mississippi, of course, all of these are re have re repeated sequences in them, uh, but they also work better on longer, uh, longer sequences. So uh, this was just intended to be a, an example, again, using the LZW technique to compress some data. Um, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.